Hi guys, it's Carlos, the Ultimate Fitness Training once again, and thank you so much for watching the video. And today, once again, it's all about rituals. So we're doing power walk, fat burning in this beautiful woo, weather today. So it's good, it's good stuff. So um, as I say, it's all about rituals and it's all about that determination in order to become your greatest version. Uh, apologies in front of my, my head. Oh, my hair probably looks shit every day anyway, so you guys are gonna say what's the difference, but anyway, apology for my hair. I just uh, got out of the bed and uh, literally all I did was brush my teeth, got my uh, clothes on and add five grams of glutamine in order to protect my muscle that I have, okay? Uh, uh, and do aerobic work. So you release this glucagon, which is a powerful hormone in your pancreas, which protects basically your digestion system. So what it does really, really goes into your triglycerides, which is fat in order for energy. So it's like the source of energy. Hopefully I'll be burning that excess body fat, hopefully. Some people burn more than others. Uh, so empty stalking fast, fasted cardio is fantastic in order to do that. So today's video is an interesting subject. Maybe it's just interesting for me, but it's a very interesting subject. So some of you guys are gonna find it quite interesting. Now, and the topic of the video is, don't bullshit yourself. Now, why am I gonna say this to you? And this is for everyone really, because we all have, um, to a degree, we all do this, okay? Now, I'm just gonna, before I go, I'm just gonna ask you one thing, right? How truthful to yourself are you okay meaning what when you want to achieve a goal or when you want to become whoever you want to become okay there's a particular path you enter okay now it's like the same thing to if I ask you guys um, how do I get to London okay obviously there's many ways to get to London but there's a particular avenue of obviously in this case uh, motorways or a roads that I need to take in order to get to the right destination so it's exactly the same thing with a goal okay now don't lie to yourself it's gonna be a subject where I'm gonna give you five points in order to stop lying to yourself okay now number one is stop the bullshit okay now what I mean by that is okay and this is something I'm gonna give you several examples and you guys can debate this with me if you like via Instagram or via email or via message for the guys obviously um, that got my number now what I mean by that is stop the bullshit this is the way we communicate to ourselves now I give you an example right and this is something that this era has actually given us and I'm not saying that I'm different to you or or I'm a lot better than you I'm this special person I'm not saying this to you what I'm saying is this is things I've learned throughout my path now stop the bullshit is like some people the way they communicate to themselves they're very much like oh I want to get that yeah I, I want to achieve that result but what they're fucking doing is completely fucking different okay it's like me going to a shop and say oh by the way can I get a black top and also I'm looking at pink tops and red tops and the, the store manager or the, the, the you know like the person that works in there will be thinking what the fuck I mean you just said you want the black top but you're looking at pink tops now what I mean by that is sometimes the way we communicate to ourselves right and what we want to achieve but what we're fucking doing about it is very very fucking different excuse my fucking language but you know what it fucking annoys me when people really want to achieve things but they just eh, yeah I do want to get there but they're not doing fuck all about it. Just not doing, they're not in the fucking right path. And even when you tell them to be in the fucking right path, they go, oh, okay, okay, but then they don't do it. So what the fuck are you waiting for? Do you know what I mean? And this is not just once or twice, right? I get emails, you know, believe it or not, I get crazy fucking emails, okay? And this is one thing that really fucking annoys me is, oh, how do I get into shape? I'm going on holiday in two weeks time. What the fuck? You've never fucking trained in your life. Do you know what I mean? You know, I've been training for years. You know, years. Do you know? And I'm not saying I've got a perfect fucking physique, by the way. Do you know what I mean? But I, I'm in pretty decent shape. Don't take me wrong, there's a lot of guys looking way better than me. I know that. Okay? But 
I haven't got the fucking right to say and turn around someone and email someone for two weeks and say, I'm going on holiday to Zanti next week. Can you get me to fucking shape in two weeks? You're kidding your fucking self. You know? Right, pause on that one. Breathe. Breathe. Okay, so listen. Don't bullshit yourself. Now, number two is, what is your fucking goal? Right? What is your goal? Define your goal. Define it. Because... It's like the same thing, and I, I'm gonna go back to the same story I was just gonna give you. Is let me just change angle, okay? Because I woman up my thing. Fuck me, these guys eight in the morning, swearing at the fucking camera. What's wrong with it? You guys know I'm a bit crazy sometimes, and I right. Let me just walk past you. I should think. Fuck me. Anyway, right. So, what is your goal? What is your define your goal? It's like me saying to you. Right, I want to go to London. Oh, by the way, no, I'm going to go to Liverpool now. Oh, by the way, I want to go to Newcastle. Define your goal. The two completely different destinations. Okay, now, if you really want to get fit, that's one thing. Okay, fitness is different. If you want to look like a fitness model, it's a whole different thing. If you want to look like a bodybuilder, it's a whole different thing. If you want to look like a powerlifter, it's a whole different thing. If you are a football or a rugby player, it's a whole different thing. But what a lot of us want is, and this is like sometimes, don't take me wrong, there's loads of guys in the fitness industry, especially the guys that get paid a bit of money to sponsor certain things. And they'll go, yeah, yeah, you can get ripped, super fast, super strong, uh, looking amazing in two weeks or three weeks or two months if you take this particular product. They bullshit into yourselves. Honestly, just don't, don't listen to these guys. They've got something up their sleeve. They want something from you. And nine times out of 10 is your fucking money. Okay, so don't listen to these guys. So define your goal. So if your goal is say lose two stone, right? Okay, embark yourself on that journey in order to lose the two stone. And you're not gonna lose two stone in two months straight away. Okay, some of my clients have done that amazingly well. Okay, fine. Okay, but some people can't do that. Okay, although I coach these people, okay. These guys work very hard, so I'm not. This is not aimed at my clients. This is aimed on most people that email me, that a fucking full of shit. Okay, excuse my language. It's full of shit. They want results now. I know we can go to the McDonald's, and literally, I think it's. I mean, I've been there to be honest with McDonald's some, sometimes with my son, and I minimize the times I go there. But you, you literally drive through, and you, you, I don't, but bear in mind, I'm literally an amateur in these sort of things because I don't really go to places like that. But you literally talk to a kiosk and then you pay on another kiosk and you get your shit on the fucking on the last one and you know what it's a bag of shit but people eat it Do you know my, my son's allowed once a, once once a month one of those bless him but the thing is i don't like that kind of food it's shit but we you we used to instant gratification but instant gratification doesn't work guys doesn't work nothing nothing is built in any right sort of value Instantly, nothing, nothing. Look at diamonds. Diamonds stay hundreds of years under pressure and then become diamonds. Okay, I'm not saying that you're gonna last hundreds of years. Okay, you may do, but I'm not saying you're gonna last more than that because we're not here for a long time. But what I'm saying is, it's gonna take time. So you gotta be patient, you gotta gain the right revenue. See, this is gonna link into number three. Get your information right. Get your shit right. Okay, now I hear people, oh, I read this, oh, I, that guy said that, oh, that guy said that, oh, I read this, I went on internet, I went on YouTube, you've got that many people talking to you about one particular element, and a lot of these people haven't got a fucking clue, swear to God, a lot of these people haven't got a fucking clue, I hear so much garbage, I swear to God, and, and this is one thing that really annoys me, don't take me wrong, I don't mind people that actually don't know, ask the question, get the right information and then they do it fantastic brilliant i'm such a normal guy i mean the guys that know me i might come across a bit of a, a bull in a chinese shop but you know what i'm a really humble guy and if i don't know something i'll ask the fucking question i'll give you an example i i i was uh, practiced to 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 play the piano and when i didn't know how to play the piano i literally i felt you know what this is what probably i might a lot of my clients feel you know i haven't got a clue and, and don't take me wrong, I was literally like well, some of them, do you know? And I was literally like learning, do you know what I mean? And then obviously what I like to do is, you guys know with my clients, I like to educate you guys to become better, better. 
and better so you educate yourself and then I've got some amazing guys amazing guys and this is what I'm saying to you make sure you really get your information right because if you don't get your information right you're gonna get all distorted and then you're gonna start say oh I spoke to that person that person said this I spoke to that person that person said that look if you speak to, I'll give you an example right if you speak to 100 people and ask the same question, you'll probably get 100, 100 different answers, okay? Speak to people that have got track record. Speak to people that have changed people's physiques. Speak to people that really know their shit, okay? Now, I'll give you an example. I know my shit, and I'm not just telling you how great I am, but I've got track record, okay? I've got track record. I've changed people's physiques for years, okay? And I've helped people become their greatest versions for years. I haven't just took my course six months ago and all of a sudden I call myself a personal trainer or strength and conditioner or a psychologist or a coach. It's bullshit. Some of the guys out there, they're listening to these people. They've never done, they can't even change their physiques, let alone change yours, you know? So get your fucking shit right, okay? Now, number four, this is a very important one, okay? Number four is give yourself time, okay? Give yourself time. I've already mentioned we love instant gratification. Okay? We love to have the result. Press the button and you get the result. Mate, we'll never get there. I'll give you an example, right? The times I've competed, the times I've got myself ready for a photo shoot. I know it's a grind. I know you guys are gonna get on a diet. Day one, have I got abs? Day two, have I got abs? Day three, am I looking better? I know it's I know it's I know it's tough. I know it's tough, and I know it's it plays with your mind, and, and sometimes you even question yourself, will I look like that? Okay, I know that. I'm not just telling because I think I know that, okay? But believe it or not, whatever goal you have, you've got to be consistent. And remember, the more consistency you have with the right information, with the right focus, with the right momentum, the closer you get, to who you want to become. Okay, the closer you get, sorry, I'm gonna move this fucking mannequin. here, okay? The closer you get, and this is why, I always say, watch out, I need to change direction. One of these days I'm gonna get run over, I swear. I can feel it. Um, so you gotta really focus on that, and then you get closer. But a lot of us, we think, oh, Am I there yet? Am I there yet? We're so impatient. Give yourself a timeline. Give yourself two weeks. Get closer to the goal day by day. I'll give you an example. What I did and what I do do with my, um, with my goals. I, I, do this, uh, I, do, I tell you what. I'll, uh, I'll, get, I'll give you a bit more insight information. Okay? I'll give you an example. When I'm competing or I'm, or I'm, when I'm preparing myself for a photo shoot, what I do is I count the amount of times I need to work out between the 12 weeks. I, I, I start basically preparing 12 weeks out. So I literally start getting really, really close to that sort of particular sort of shape day by day. But what I'll do, I'll count my workouts, I count out all my meals between the time I start to the time I end, so there's 12 weeks, okay? So all those days, all those three months, right? I count every single meal I'm gonna have. So I count down. It is a countdown on the meals, countdown on the cardio, count down uh, the power the power walks, count down the amount of videos I've gotta do. So while this everything's on a countdown, so the workouts on a countdown, the diets on a countdown, the supplementations on a countdown, the workouts on a countdown, the abs are on a countdown, so everything is on a countdown. So I'm getting closer to zero, which is the last day. So I'm getting better every day, so I count down. And that's something that visually, because I'm a visual learner, and that's something that really helps me become that greatest version of myself. Now, a lot of you guys, you can use this, this might help you. Uh, I've said this to some of my clients, not all of them. I um, don't know why sometimes there's certain things, there's that much stuff I do. Sometimes I don't tell, I'll tell you all my life stories. Uh, but basically, what it, let me tell you, let me just go a bit detour here on this side. I always do this, when I come on this path, I always forget to turn, I don't know why. Um, yeah, so that, that's one of the things I do, and that really helps me stay focused. That's one of the things that helps me stay focused. Even if I didn't do that, I would stay focused anyway, because I know 
visualize what I want to look like and visualize what I want to do. And that's something I've always had since I was a little boy. But I've had to learn that myself. Because sometimes if you don't do that, you completely lose track of the focus where you want to be, which is a destination where you want to, you don't want to arrive. So that's very, very important. Now, number five is, and this is kind of something that I want to say to you guys, don't spend time with people that are going to deviate you away from that goal. Now, we all have losers around us. I have it, you have it, everyone has. I mean, you'd be lying to yourself where you've got a, a, an amazing team. I'll give, I'll give you an example. I don't know if you guys know who Gary V is. Have a look at it. Google it. He's, he's, honestly, him and Tony Robbins got to be... For me, Tony Robbins is still the top guy anyway, but Gary V is one inspiring motherfucker. You know, this boy is, honestly, he's on another level. But although he's a billionaire, check out. Not just because he's a billionaire, but check out the amount of work this guy does. And he talks a lot about the grinding and becoming better every day. Now the crazy stuff that he does, like for this, I mean, I mean, I do one video or two videos a day. This boy does like hundreds of videos every single day and he doesn't have to anymore because he's so rich. But uh, I'm not saying that I'll be doing this to become rich, but this guy to become his greatest version, he's relentless, relentless. Now, a lot of us, we spend time with people that are absolutely, and this is no matter whether they're rich or poor, uh, they're just losers. They're gonna drag you away from every single goal you've got, if it's to lose weight, whether it's to become better, whether it's become your greatest version, whether it's becoming whatever it is, they will drag you away, they'll ask you questions. They are just intimidated by you. That's what they are. And that comes in a version of sometimes of your sister, of your brother, of your cousin, even sometimes your partner. Sometimes even your mom and dad would do that. And I know it sounds quite sad to say this. It sounds really sad to say this. People's energy comes in a version of anything, even the close ones to you, they do that to you. Now, if they really love you and they really want you to become your greatest version, they will inspire you. They will, if, for instance, same, like, if my partner turns around to me and says, I want to do that, I will inspire her. I will say, listen, babe, go and do it. Go and do it. Become your best. Okay, I know you guys are going to say, oh, Carlos, it's easy for you because that's the sort of person you are. But I would do it anyway because that's the way to... Having someone becoming your greatest version, that's why we're fucking here. That's why we came here. We came into this universe to become our best, to have the best experience because we can't take nothing with us. I keep telling you these guys, you know, and I've said this, I don't want to turn this video into a spiritual video, but you know what? We can't take this thing with us. We can't take the body with us. We can't have nothing. So we've got everything on a lease. Everything's on a lease. Everything is. The body, the mind, the soul. Everything is. The things you have, the house you have, the car you have. You might own it, but it's on a lease because when you go, you can't take it with you. You can't say, hold on a minute, I'm just about to die. But by the way, let me just take the couple of houses I've got with me. Where the fuck are you going to put those things? You know? So there's no space for those things. So you want on a lease. So it's all about becoming your greatest version. Becoming your best, but surrounding yourself with those fucking shit people, which is, you may call it negative people, I call it garbage. And I tell you what, I do my fucking very best. And don't take me wrong, years ago I used to have some serious, serious negative people around me. So what I did, I, I literally had to learn and had to become my greatest version in that aspect and go, you know what? In order for me to be where I want to be, I can't be carrying these people around me because these people around me are not going to make me my greatest version. So I did that. I moved away from those people. And believe you or not, those people come in a version of people close to me. And I'm not going to tell you who they are because they were very close to me. But I'm telling you, they are my family. So I actually moved away from people that were blood. Okay? Now, I'll tell you this on camera because I'm not afraid to tell you this, but those are people sometimes come close to you. In this, you might say to you, oh, Carlos, yeah, but you've been hurt on that aspect. No, I've never fucking been hurt. But I've never, do you know I haven't been hurt? Because I don't carry that energy anymore. If, if I carry, I kept on that, on that version, on that version of what I've, what I couldn't become my greatest version, then I'd be very hurt. But what it is, I recognize the signs. I know where they were. And literally, I moved away from that negativity. And I keep telling you, they come in the form of everyone. 
And sometimes the one most close to you are the ones that are doing that to you. So recognize the signs. And I'm not saying sometimes you need to move away from them. Sometimes you just need to re-educate them. So if you're strong enough and you've got the ability to re-educate these people, fantastic, do it. I didn't have the fact that I had the ability to, 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 to educate these people. These people were just too fucking stubborn. So they didn't want to do it. They'll never change it. They've built so much neuroplasticity. They will never fucking change it. And they still live act the same. But they annoy other people, not me anymore. So happy days for me. That's the reason why I'm smiling. I'm happy. I'm stronger happier healthier version of myself so woo, breathe out beautiful breathe with fresh air so what we need to like you know sometimes you need to get a fucking sheet out of your chest right so I felt like you know I've had so many fucking emails excuse me I'm sweating too much I've got to be careful so I do apologize that I've had so many emails and I've got to share this with you guys and I hope you guys sympathize with me on this one please but I've had so many fucking emails like and, in, and, and don't take me wrong, I'm not just saying this for people to stop emailing me, but some of the emails are fucking immature, you know? They're like, Carlos, I'm going on holiday in two, in two weeks, can you, can you help? Or Carlos, I'm going to go on holiday in three weeks, can you help? And, and don't take me wrong, obviously, some of you guys might say, yeah, but what's wrong with that? I, I look, I could help you, but what is fucking two weeks going to do? And these people never fucking train in their lives. Do you know what I mean? It's just like, don't take me wrong, if, you, if you've been really good with your diet, and you've trained a long time and you've got good shape. I can probably do, when I say probably, I can definitely do something in two weeks' time, in three weeks' time. But I can't do, I can't change your body in two weeks. Come on. I ain't that good. I'm telling you. And I tell you, if there's a trainer that can change your physique in two weeks and you have never trained before, fuck me. This guy is good. Go to him because, or her, because he's good. But I can't. I'm sorry. I'm not that good yet. Hopefully one day there'll be a pill or there'll be some sort of um, way to become your greatest version in only two weeks so you don't need to do nothing else. And then, and then all of a sudden you can just stop because you can take that pill again and you become great. So, but anyway, you can see why I'm, you can see why I get pissed off. Go ahead. You can see, I'm sure you get pissed off you've got these emails every single day. No. But with all that said, guys, obviously, thank you. I really appreciate all the support. I mean, I've, I've had amazing support from all the guys some of the videos that we've done a lot of guys are coming to see me everywhere you know they say Carlos thank you so much for doing that video really inspired me and don't take me some of the videos you know I, I'm this guy I'm not gonna change it I'm not gonna change it not because I'm a beautiful horse I'm not gonna change I'm this guy like I'll tell you how it is okay and then that sometimes came across fucking hell that guy is full of himself I'm not full of myself but I tell you what I speak my mind okay I'm the nicest guy you've met I mean I'm happy to help anybody and I'm a humble guy but I tell you how it is. I, do you know one thing I hate? And I'm probably going to tell you this. And I've said this some, some, sometimes on, um, on Snapchat. And I've said this on Instagram before. I hate bullshit. Oh, fucking, that's one thing. It stinks, man. It fucking stinks. You know? Bullshit. 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 I hate it. Okay? I prefer to, I prefer to hear someone say, listen, I don't want to do it. Brilliant. At least I know what I fucking stand. That's it. Oh, I want to do it. Great. Let's do it. Let's do this fucking shit. Okay? That's it. Simple all. Do you know what I mean? Don't give me, oh, yeah, I want to do it. But but what? Shut the hell up. Just do it. Do it. Simple as that. Do it. Okay? So, can you see I'm going on a run again? But anyway, so that's it, really. So, what I can say to you guys is a beautiful weather today. Beautiful weather. Absolutely beautiful. So, this is it. I've done a bit of video. As you, as you guys see, I do pull out my hair. It's absolutely all over the gaff. Uh, so I apologize that I just got out of bed. As I said, I had the five grams of glutamine. Now I'm nearly finishing this uh, aerobic fat burning. Then I'm gonna go back to do another five grams of uh, glutamine. And, um, and then I'm gonna have my uh, breakfast. First breakfast of the day. And I've got eight ounces of turkey and beautiful grapefruits. They are beautiful. That's what I do when I have, when I'm on a diet. That's what I do. You gotta do this chisel, man. You gotta do what you wanna do. Okay? I'm gonna do another video, which is I'm gonna tell you in a minute. Okay? About, do you know what I'm gonna do? About how to overcome diet taste. So a lot of people say, oh, I don't taste very nice. I'm gonna help you on that. So I'm gonna give you five points in order to help you on that. So with all this said, guys, you know where to follow me on Carlos Trainer 10 on Instagram on YouTube, Carlos Trainer, on my website, which is ultimatefitnesstraining.co.uk. Please do me a favor, like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you can on YouTube. It's free, guys, free information. You send me the information, you ask me what videos you want me to do, and I'll please do it. This is a video that I got asked to do, 
as well as messages I've got, emails I've got, which are crazy. So I just express myself. I don't want to bottle any emotion, so I tell you. So it's whoo, off my chest, so you guys digest it. You might think, fuck me, Carlos, you're on one today. But anyway, cool. So with all that said, guys, thanks for watching the video. Uh, I hope you have a beautiful day. Become your greatest versions. Remember, body, mind, and soul. Become your greatest version, guys. Regardless of who you are, regardless where you are, just do it. Okay, so with all that said, stay happy, stay healthy, stay fit. Woo! Have a beautiful day. Take care.